any more reinforcements anytime soon. Moreover, I have this expansion running, so I have double income. And actually more than double income, because he's not actually mining right now. I'm catching some units. He's actually giving me two grunts. He decided this is about right to uh, buy enough time. I didn't actually want to leave these grunts here and deal with the greater threat. Uh, because he had a head start on me. And I felt if I chased him, maybe he would still end up doing enough damage. And then I would fight with two grunts in my back. And kind of out of position. And not having my pit lord yet. So I killed those two first. I took what I could have. And then I came here... Uh, and he won't actually have enough time to kill my expansion, but he did kill all the peons. The first unit in this big fight goes to him, he kills a raider. His units are going to be way more hardy and uh, able to survive because of the spirit link, but I do have a little bit more brute force. And At this point, Pit Lord's back, I face him into the fight quickly with a staff of teleport. I can at this point choose how of terror or fire rain, I choose fire rain. You see, all my units are turning red. Because uh, no spirit link really helps him, but uh, the fire rain helped as well. Farseer leveled up to level 5. Kodos doing some nice job. At this point it just looks, looks like completely over. I'm 47 food, he's 46, but um, I have a lot more units in the fight here. Some of his units are in my Kodo. But you see there that Alchemist is pretty sweet. Acid Bomb and uh, Chemical Rage doing some good damage, he does like, what, 100 damage while he hits? Yeah, about 80. Now I'm I think the thing that becomes really interesting is now when uh, most of the armies died, his hero is suddenly better. Like, in big fights, How of Terror is pretty sweet, but in hero vs. hero fights, he's gonna win, because Acid Bomb, minus 4 armor, I have plus 1, that's why it looks like minus 3. And you can just focus my Farseer and kill it. Which is actually what happens. Level 5 Alchemist he gets, level 5 Farseer, and a little bit of a big blunder here, losing his Farseer. So we're both down to one hero. I'm 37 foot, he's 17. Would seem pretty over. But don't forget the, don't forget the loss of uh, repeated mistakes by both players creates really exciting games. No, I'm still mining with three peons here. This one is almost empty. Um, his gold mine still has 2,000. Mine has about... Oh, <laughs> it's a card, we know. Uh, his has about... Uh, mine has about 400. So when this one runs out, he's not going to be too far behind economically. Alchemist, Ring of Regeneration. Really useful at this stage in the game. Ready to ride. Uh, 55 food, he's 28. So he can't really win army versus army. But he can win by trying to kill my mining and trying to kill my heroes. So, okay, here is where I'm really kind of blowing my own mind. Level 5 heroes don't actually get any experience points from creeping. So at this crucial stage in the game, which is kind of make or break, I decided to go uh, creeping for some items, some little bit of money, and I lose my expansion. And I keep going. He killed all the peons. I come to the rescue and he does not have a town portal. So this is a fight. Uh, let's look. I have 53 food. He's 34. His farseer is not quite back yet. So this looks pretty bleak. And I'm deciding to kill Raiders first and not Alchemist. Two of his Raiders going down. He's killing one of mine. That was an Acid Bomb kill. And once he's got all my Raiders dead, it means that his heroes won't necessarily die. And then he can actually, if he has more Raiders, he can actually start killing my heroes. Now, this is, as far as I know, and I think I know a lot <laughs> regarding Warcraft 3. This is the only professional game of Orc vs. Orc where there was ever a Doomguard, the level 6 ultimate from the Pit Lord. 
And let me tell you something, it felt pretty freaking insane to have a Doom Guard in an official game. That is such a cool skill. You cast it in one of your opponent's units, and it dies. There's no way around it, there's no two ways about it. It will die, and it will turn into a Doom Guard. A beastly servant from hell, serving me. Now that's pretty cool, I think I have some dreams about that as well. Uh, he has a lot of skills. War Stump. Uh, he has Dispel, Cripple, and Rain of Fire. So he wisely ran. I cannot really blame him. We're under attack. Uh, he actually has superior radar numbers, and this means that the advantage of Micro and the advantage of uh, killing units is on his side. So he kills that one, very nice. Gold this gold ran out, so he's pretty much gonna have to do it with these four, five, six or so raiders that he can have. And the crowd, uh, it was so amazing. At first, the crowd was only just watching while they were standing in line for like World of Warcraft tryouts, but during the finals, it was so sick. It was one of the biggest audience I had seen thus far at uh, the BlizzCon 2005. There were like rows upon rows of people. Um, Kim, I think Kim Fan uh, Bunny, she was doing the shoutcast, was very popular with uh, with the crowd, making all the murloc sounds when they dying and the gnolls. <laughs> you know, obviously I am not a very good gnoll. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was it was really sick. They were going wild. I mean, this was a really unusual game. Doing some double fire rain action here, killing his burrows. While he's uh, getting his raiders in position to kill my Farsi, and I pretty much have no method of escaping. So it's kind of a sick situation because my main base ran out. I'm not mining full peons on my expansion, and he's gonna kill my Farsi. And there's no telling whether I'll have enough money to even remake it. He's got both of his heroes out there, like a ninja. Now, he has level 6 alchemist. So not only do we have a level 6 pit lord in this game, but we also have a level 6 alchemist. And his ultimate is transmute. You turn one of your opponent's units into gold, and that gold is added to your coffers. So, he can just sell my raiders. And the sickest thing is, it has a 30 second cooldown, so he can do that pretty freaking often. You see this little skull there over the blue fars here? Uh, that was an acid bomb actually. But he can he can use transmute with 150 mana and he will do so later. Now me, the the red orc, using some uh, demolishers to do some damage, but they're not actually that useful in fights like this. This Kodo is eating one of his raiders, not sure if it'll survive. And I actually got the got the hell out of there with my hero because I was gonna lose this pit lord. Now I do not have enough money for Farseer yet. Just mining with two peons, and uh, finally there I'm uh, remaking my Farseer. So at this point I'm one versus two heroes, and he has a lot of mana, so you know he could be killing me. He has one, two, three raiders, and there he just sold one of my raiders, but I doom guarded his raider. Boom. A little bit of water. Now, let me tell you something. This is a buttock clenching moment. I would, I would kill myself over losing this game. Not only because I had such a good position, but because it would have been my fault for picking, well, for mispicking my hero. So uh, I'm going into crisis management mode here. Almost gonna lose my pit lord quickly by potion of invulnerability. Use it on myself. And then uh, at least I have the option of uh, running away if necessary. Use it a little bit quick there, but uh, I know that I can use that time now to run away. Get a few free hits while the Pac-Man can eat the, the ghosts, but now I have to run away. Uh, he's just preparing for the last uh, killing attack to, uh, to murder me. He knows this has to work because I'm still mining. No, I'm not mining right now. I will mine again soon. He's done some cute Farseer level, f you know, Farseer level five wolves level three harassment. Those invisible critical striking wolves. 
some long distance killing and uh, that kept my gold down so I'm not gonna have any huge army anytime soon now he'll just be looking to get some more hero kills uh, on me and if I show any units he could use 150 mana and uh, turn them into gold so if I show a raider he could sell it and then make a unit with it himself so what I'm doing is I'm keeping my raider away here until such time as that I feel like he doesn't have enough uh, mana to uh, to transmute it or until the such time as that I feel I would rather have him transmute my raider than to like acid bomb my hero so just uh, biding time there he's going straight for the forest here acid bomb does damage over time reduces armor for those wolves to do extra damage now I'm bringing in my raiders because uh, I feel kind of scared for my forest here if I'm just gonna keep running uh, I will lose the game actually which is kind of fantastic after how it went and boom another doom guard out of his raider he was just about to ensnare me and definitely kill my forest here but just in time uh, it uh, it changed into a doom guard and I felt so happy so ecstatic uh, I felt now like I really had the chance to uh, seal the deal uh, on this game and immediately war stomp to get a war stomp doom guards around got that sucker right there nearly lost my forest here there's really no way for him to come out Run! Okay. kill this alchemist and snare us around the forest here stomp cripple just to be sure reduces movement speed was actually necessary and boom I kill his hero in style with a fire rain nearly lost my forest here there's no way for him to win the game but he just wanted to get it and I say no no freebies no cookies even when I've won heal potion speed scroll heal solve and GG oh, I'm reliving those moments again great times so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for episode 2 of Grubby's Warcraft 3 commentaries